What's going on YouTube? In this video, we're looking at how to get away from manually installing new versions of Chrome driver every time a new one comes out. And this method will actually support all the other drivers as well, with exception for uh, Safari and Opera. So the problem is every time a new Chrome driver comes out, right, you have to kind of download it and put it into the root directory for the web drivers, right? And you probably have your system uh, variables configured to point to it, like I have my path variable um, configured to look in this area for the web drivers. And then this version is actually pretty old. So if I, if I actually run this, if I get my terminal out and, and I execute this, this version is 235 while the new version if we take a look at chrome driver download the new version is 76 right? and they did change the uh, version uh, versioning schema here recently but um, before they did it was 246 so 235 is like way way old so if I want to use a new version, I now have to download it from here and I have to download the zip for my system, extract the executable and then place it into here, which will then replace this executable. <clears throat> and then when I run this script, it's gonna you know, instantiate it with the new Chrome driver. Now, this is an issue because if you have many machines, right? If you're running your tests on many machines and you want to make sure that you have the latest version or maybe you, you want to make sure you have a particular version on all of the machines installed, this is a big deal because then you have to manually go in and manually install those Chrome drivers, which is a waste of time. So we're going to use a package which is called Web Driver Manager and you can get that package i'm going to kill that server you can get that package just by doing a pip install so you can do pip uh, pip install web driver manager you can see i already have it so what i can do once i have the package is instead of specifying the location here I can do something like this. I can say Chrome driver manager install. Chrome driver manager install, and that will actually install the latest version of the Chrome driver. So if I actually run this script, you can see that it pulled in version 246. And that's because I actually have a config set that uh, tells Chrome driver manager to use this version. So this is how the config looks. So I actually told explicitly which version I wanna use. Like Now, if I don't specify the version here, it will actually pull in the, um, the latest one. So let's try that. Let's remove this and let's execute the same script. It should now download the new version. And that's exactly what it did. Version 75. And I will have a link to the repo uh, here where they actually list more examples. Like if you want to use Firefox, this is how you do it. If you want to use Edge, this is how you do it. So, but it's the same very straightforward they do support additional uh, variables within the config as well and here's the path to the config which i actually forgot to to show so for me it's going to be in the c drive in my users my user and then there's a folder web driver manager which is a hidden folder with this period inside here i have this config um, which you already saw now, if you don't see this folder and you're on Windows, you can actually go into View, Options, Change Folder Options, and then go to video View, and then here you want to tick this Show Hidden Files and Folders, and then you'll see this folder. So there we go, guys. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe, and share, and as always, take care.